I, I'm liking the exciting start here from round one. You know, the conditions kind of started to get a little bit nicer. We didn't have that strong offshore wind, so it allowed for a little bit more high performance. And yes, you're right about that first heat. Uh, Taj Burrow looking very, very good. But he had to save himself in the dying stages of this first round heat. Taj, obviously the hometown hero. Alex Rivera was a little quiet in this heat as Taj and Jeremy really flared up. Yeah, he did. And he watched Jeremy too, another one inspired performance by him. You know, he got a little bit loose. You know, Taj had that big score right in the beginning of the heat, really put the pressure but uh, someone answered, and that was Jeremy Flores. A couple of Taj's best waves this season, but Jeremy, he had the lead for the majority of the heat right up until the final minute, in fact, just on the attack constantly. No, it was good stuff, and, you know, and I like how loose he got too, because it wasn't, you know, this is right when the wind was still pretty strong, but this wave here, and this is the local knowledge that Taj knows. I mean, he's surfed so many events here at Main Break. He knows that there are some lefts to be had where, you know, they sit on the reef and they give you those opportunities. He gets those two big turns, finishes up with the third one right here at the last minute of the heat and takes the heat win. I think Taj has got that great backhand approach for out here too. Able to get really tight in the pocket, kicks those fins, but always looks impressive. Julian Wilson, who's had a sleepy start to the year, really bounced back in a big way in his first performance here at Margaret's. And I was watching, I was listening to you guys call this heat and uh, you know and, and it's exactly that I mean he hasn't looked real inspired but this heat he did you know he looked excited he looked in form um, you know his, I mean, especially he built throughout this entire heat his score is built with it. You, you get those big contract dollars you have the hype you, you have the media pushing your wagon you've got to deliver at the CT level and Julian so far this year had not been doing that uh, it was a tough draw though. I think all the competitors in the second heat of round one surfed very well. Kai Otten and Adam Melling included. Yeah, Melling looked good as well. I mean, it's going to be exciting stuff to see if he gets a few more starts. Matt Wilkinson on a new board, looking very sharp, still continuing this amazing run that he's been on. The thing that I thought was interesting was, even though Wilco was riding that buckle board, when he went left, it didn't look good. It wasn't world champion uh, sort of surfing. Yeah. Uh, so maybe stick to the rights. Well, well he, he did mention that he had in his mind that the way the board was buckled. And I, I think one of those things that you can do is that when you have that crease, you don't want to push too hard. You don't want to break it further. You know, you can fix it right now and save it for the rest of the event. Well, that's a good point. And Matt Wilkinson, <laughs> he did back up the big number that he had earlier on in the heat and got himself the win. Uh, Stu Kennedy and... And Dusty Payne, of course, we'll have to see them bounce back in round two. But an exciting start to the first round and a good way to kick off competition here at Stop 3, boys.